Hi, my name is Caroline Atwell. I'm a dancer with Nevada Ballet, and this is my third season with the company. Two in every 10 people suffers from some kind of mental illness. This past year, I was forced to tackle that statistic head on um, after losing two friends in October within a week of each other. I was really struggling to understand how I had missed the signs, how other people had missed the signs, and how it was going unnoticed. And I really dove into trying to figure out what was going on. As I was doing research into mental illness and trying to figure that out for myself, um, one of the parents of the friends that I lost had posted an article, Visibility, by Matt Imario, and it talked about the visibility of mental illness and in, in relating it to the wind. It's something that you can't see, you can't feel, um, unless you're outside in a storm. If you're sitting inside a building, you can't necessarily see how brutal the wind could be or how incredible the storm is. But if you're standing out in it, it could be so powerful, you can't describe it to other people. It was just a beautiful description and inspired me for my piece this year. My hope was to express inner thoughts and troubles of those suffering from mental illness through their movements on the video screen as well as through their performance. It is a very difficult topic to tackle and is something that I feel a lot of responsibility for to do it justice and I think that that's something that I will be looking for in my dancers that want to express that emotion and reach deeper into themselves than they maybe have before. So I'm really looking for that willingness to bring raw emotion to the performance. thing that I hope to share with the audience is just to spread that awareness about mental illness. Seeing people go through denial and not able to accept that that's what they're dealing with, there's definitely a stigma around, around mental illness and I really hope to break those barriers and make the conversation okay. Being able to acknowledge that it's something that many people suffer with could be someone that you live with and aren't aware of and being able to have that conversation and know that you're not alone. I know that there are so many other people that suffer from that. The other eight dancers don't see um, what is happening with the other two who are suffering from that mental illness. My hope for the end of the piece is that they are able to see and understand what is going on. They are able to see those struggles, see what those inner thoughts are of those two people and really gain a greater understanding of what they're, they're going through. Hi, I'm Jamie, and I am a dancer with Nevada Ballet Theater. So I first started dancing when I was three years old, and I grew up in a competition dance studio. And when I was 10 years old, my mom took me to see The Nutcracker, and I thought it was the most magical show. From there, I started really training classical ballet. When I was 15, I got a full scholarship to finish my training at the Herod Conservatory in Florida and started working professionally as a ballet dancer from there. I got the opportunity to do a pas de deux for 2018 ACS and I was able to collaborate with a Cirque artist and it was an awesome experience. For this year, I wanted to challenge myself choreographically and propose something a little bit bigger, a huge cast of people with a wide variety of styles and talents. The inspiration actually comes from myself. I recently started working in an office job 
And I realized around me, I've met all these people that work day in and day out, and they don't have this outlet to truly express themselves. And I always felt like I was missing a part of these people that I didn't know. And it made me realize how lucky I am to have a job that I get to call my love. And I believe that we can all have this ability to discover something within ourselves that maybe we didn't even know was there. I think that this piece this year is really about the life that we all choose to create for ourselves and the life that we choose to lead. And my hope is that people create the lives that they want and not the lives that they need to have. My name is Arnaud Boursin. And my name is Alexis Auchin. And as you can hear, we come from France. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm working at Zumanity as dancer. And uh, I'm a dancer as well and physical actor and I'm working with uh, different companies in Europe. We have a great history with ACS actually. It's our uh, what, third time, third time as yes. choreographer. First one was Memoration in 2016, second one Sparkles in the next year. And it was a very enriching experience in terms of creation because we also discover how we work together and how we actually work with dancers and with everyone that's in, in, involved in the production team, in the lightning department, in the stage management department. It's such an experience that gives you the tool to really work after, I mean, because it's exactly what you're going to do after as a choreographer. So it's a recreation of the professional world. And it's a confirmation that we love to do that. Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Even if we want to kill each other. But <laughs> performer who can interpret and they can perform and dance without their egos like that it will be more uh, honest feeling a honest uh, sensation and if something honest come from them the reaction will be like really yeah. strong and powerful and laugh again <laughs> of the piece it comes from both of us and I, I feel like more and more people are becoming aware of the, the issues that we are facing nowadays with the consuming society that we live in and that we are more aware with the scientific discoveries that it's not working with how the, the earth works so we cannot consume as we are and we need to change and it feels like we know more and more and more about that but yet we don't change our habits. This piece is really a necessity, it's like a call for help. This piece which is called Hubris is a cry for help and a, a last call for sanity because we are on the point where we need to make a, a drastic change in the way we're living if we want to make this planet inhabitable for ourselves and our future generation. This is the main base, this is the raging forces underneath the piece. The other inspiration is a poem by Dylan Thomas, which is called Raging Against the Dying of the Light. Very strong poem about that you need to find to fight against the darkness of things. And uh, one last uh, music. inspiration is the music, yeah. The, it's a coronation music uh, from uh, Endo. And it's a music that is a coronation anthem that's being played when the kings and the queens of England are being anointing queen. A music that is played at the point of transition where someone is coming from human to the incarnation of God on earth and what we did find interesting in that, in that music is the, this transition is the transition that needs to happen within every one of us we need to become our own queen and kings we need to become this transcendent version of ourselves to be able to live in harmony with the planet otherwise we are lost, and uh, that's what Pina Bausch said, like, dance, dance, otherwise we are lost, and we feel like dance is the, a 
great medium to speak and reach directly to the soul of people because you don't read it with your mind, you, f you feel it with your heart and that's very important for us. My name is Steven Goforth and I am a company artist with Nevada Ballet Theatre. This is my seventh year participating as a performer with ACS and my third time choreographing. In the past, my pieces have been very abstract, more of a physical representation of how the music made me feel. And this year I wanted to try to tell a story. And who's a better storyteller than Shakespeare? So I wanted to take a small scene from one of his plays and try to bring that to life. It'll be three, three performers, each representing Romeo and Juliet and, and Tybalt centered in the ball in, uh, near the beginning of Romeo and Juliet. I think one of the things that makes Shakespeare such a great storyteller is that he's able to connect with human emotion and even now when the language of his plays is very dated and not how we talk anymore, people are still able to connect with the characters and kind of the situations that these people are going through during the plays. With the roles that I've been able to perform with NBT and growing up, I've done a lot of partnering, and so choreographing pas de deux or even pas de trois are something that I'm, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable with, but I think there's a time and a place for all sizes of casts. I think ACS is a, a really great way for performers to learn and support each other, always raising the quality and the standard of what dance is like in Las Vegas. And I think having the opportunity to work with people who have different dance training or other performing backgrounds and you know, are from all over the world is a really great opportunity for us to learn about other people and learn about ourselves in the process. Thank you.